All right, let's talk about molarity and moles. Get out your science notebook. Here's the essential question. How do you determine the molarity of a solution? Well, before we talk about molarity, we need to review a little bit about solutions, namely solvent, solute, and then the term solution. The solvent and the solute are what make up a solution, the solvent being the material that does the dissolving, usually water, and then the solute is the material being dissolved. The solution is just the combination of the two. Now we need to talk about this word concentration. A concentration is the quantity of solute in a specific quantity of solvent. So take a look at this drink mix here. So here we have a drink mix or maybe it's food coloring and water and you can see that this one over here is a lot more concentrated than this one. This one down here we would say is a lot more diluted. And that just deals with how much of that Kool-Aid powder was in that drink. So high concentration means that there's a lot more Kool Kool-Aid powder or a lot of solute. A low concentration means that there's less Kool-Aid powder or less solute in the specific quantity of solvent. Notice that all of these drinks have approximately the same volume of solvent. It's just the amount of drink mix or the amount of solute that changes. So concentration relates to this term we call molarity. Molarity is an equation, it's a formula, and M, a capital M, represents molarity. And so we're taking concentration and we're putting a numerical value to it. And so to calculate the molarity of a solution, we take the amount of solute in this quantity called a mole, and then we divide it by the volume of the solution, so how much of the solvent and the solute are in there together. Now what's a mole? We are going to go over what a mole is in the next few slides. Finally, if you this is an algebraic equation, A equals B over C. If you have any struggles with how to solve any of these different variables in this equation, I recommend checking out the extra link attached to this notes assignment that will help you solve for any of the different variables A, B, or C in this type of equation. So let's talk about really briefly what a mole is. We'll go more in depth on it in a later unit, but quite simply, a mole is a metric unit. It's a standard unit used across science, and it represents a chemical quantity of a substance. One mole is specifically 602 sextillion things, or 6.02 times 10 to the 23 things. We abbreviate moles by using the, the abbreviation MOL. All right, let's go through a practice problem together. For this, I recommend you just go ahead and put down your pencil and watch and, and participate. That way I will give you a student-led problem in a minute. It says, what is the molarity of 3.50 liters of solution that contains 1.5 moles of sodium chloride? And so we got to think about what equation we're going to be using. Well, this is the one equation that we have. Molarity equals moles per liter. And we're using this because we have liter, we have moles, and we're trying to find the molarity. So this one's pretty simple. We can go ahead and plug in our different variables into this equation, liters being the volume on the bottom and moles being the quantity on the top. And if we do this division, we're going to solve for our answer. This solution has a molarity of 0 0.440 molar. Now, what exactly does that mean? Let's take a look at this quick example here. So we're gonna take our values and plug them into a real life situation. Here we have a beaker, and eventually we want to make a beaker that's 0 0.440 molarity solution. So we're gonna take 1.54 moles of sodium chloride, and we're gonna put that in the bottom of the beaker. Then we're gonna fill the beaker up to the 3.5 liter mark, and that's what's gonna get us our solution that has a specific molarity. Remember, molarity is equal to the amount of solute divided by the total volume of that solution. All right, here's a student practice problem. Go ahead and take a moment right now and pause the video and see if you can solve this problem yourself. All right. Let's try to do it together. If you didn't pause the video, I recommend doing that first and trying it out. But if you really need help, let's get going. So here's our equation, molarity equals moles per liter. But if we look at the problem, we're not actually trying to solve for molarity. Notice that molarity is already in our problem and so is liters. In this, we're trying to figure out what the mole is. And that is this first sentence, determine the quantity of solute. Remember, a mole in this equation is the quantity of solute needed to make a certain molar solution. All right, so we're solving for moles. If we were to plug in our values, it would look something like this. 
and we need to solve for moles. So this is an algebraic equation. In order to get moles to be alone, we're going to go ahead and times both sides by 2.5 liters. That cancels out the denominator on this equation, and we're going to be able to solve for our problem. So 2.5 liters times 1.75 moles, molar, equals 4.38 moles. This is the quantity we would need in order to make that solution if we put it in 2.5 liters. All right, I have a bonus question here. How many molecules of barium nitrate is that? So this is kind of an extra above and beyond question, and this relates back to what a mole is. Remember, a mole is a specific quantity, and one mole is 602 sextillion, or 6.02 times 10 to the 23 things. So if we have 4.38 moles of this substance, we can multiply it by that quantity, and we're going to figure out how many molecules we have. So kind of a cool extra bonus of knowing what moles are is we can determine how many molecules we have of a specific substance. All right, that leads us to the end of our notes. Take some time right now, review and highlight key terms, ponder and ask questions, and then summarize and answer the essential question of these notes in a deep level using scientific terminology. Good luck.